it's Sky Tassa, and I am bringing you a review. Something a little bit different, but you know, I saw it on Mod The Sims and I was like, hey, yeah, I gotta review this. It's called the Sorcerer's Mod, and I am very excited. Love, 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 love the idea of this. I hope it's as amazing as it sounds. I have not tried out this mod. The only thing I have done is just gotten them into it. As you can see here, I made two adult characters and one child. She is the daughter of her. She is going to be the good sorcerer. And she is going to be the evil. And they have those traits, as you can see. Good. And then she's evil. But, let's begin. To begin this, obviously you have to download the mod from Mod The Sims, which I will link down below. Then you either copy and paste the files in the folder that you downloaded into your mods folder, or you can just drag and drop. Once that's done, you go into your game and you buy some lumps of clay. And here we go. Uh, so they already did it, but if you buy a lump of clay, you can actually, there will be another option where you can investigate object, and that's how you become a sorcerer. Obviously, it's not there right now because they're already, like, they already have that. But it will be there. And you can buy lumps of clay in the kids section. But let's get into this. Let's sign in. Okay, so spells. Once you, you know, do the whole lump of clay thing, you will have some spells. And you go into Meditate on the Spirit of Lombardus, I believe. And what this does, before you can actually do spells, you have to swap out two of your sim's regular needs for something, let me see, I believe it's called Magical Connection and Alignment. So, for the good, we're going to sorcerers with just this trait, don't need to manage hygiene or energy, and that is Runner's Vigor. So, she's going to do Runner's Vigor. She, what is she going to do? Ritual of Digestive Control, don't need to manage hunger or bladder. And then Forced Isolation, you don't need to manage fun or social. But she's going to do Digestive Control. So there, there's a guy fish it in the background. So they're just going to do that. And there are some special things for children. That's why I made her. Uh, we can just, I don't, know, I don't know what she's doing. Make her sit over here. <laughs> you know well they do that let's speed this up a little bit come on guys you can do this okay so she's complete so basically she adopted never bedheader so she successfully completed the ritual of Run of Runner's Vigor. Um, La Medusa is pleased. Christine can now cast spells to define her alignment under the needs bar and unlock new spells in the process. Casting a spell costs magical <laughs> not speaking magical connection, which also decays over time and can only be replenished by sacrificing a need to boost another sim or draining a need from another sim. So basically what that's saying is you can only get, I guess, I'm going to call it mana, <laughs> you know, I'm going to call it mana. You can only get mana to cast spells if, you, if you're good, you can sacrifice one of your own needs to fill up the mana. Or if you're evil, you can take it from a random sim. So we're going to test them both out. So let's see here. See, here we go. Magical connection and alignment. Right now, they're both in the middle because they haven't cast any spells. But there are different spells um, <laughs> that are light and evil. And the more you do them, the more your alignment changes. So, for light, I believe there's one called uh, Dry Out. So, you can click on puddles and efficiently get rid of them. So, <laughs> my puddles. Let's, uh, click on this. Starter Spells Cast Aura of Nature. Never tried that, actually. So let's, uh, see what it is. An Aura of Nature protects the receiver from the dangers of fire. 
Okay, let's cast it on her. Cast it on McKenna. I don't know what she's doing. Good girl. Okay, so <laughs> now she has like little drops. And for her, let's see what her starter spell is. Another aura of nature. So let's just cast it on. We'll just cast it on each other. Okay then. So the more spells that you do, no, no welcome wagon here. Uh, the more your alignment changes. Can we do a spell on her? Yeah. So, ooh, wait, 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 wait. What was that? Okay, so there's a spell called Sacrificial Wealth. I'm not 110% sure what that does. Okay. So, okay, here are some good ones. We're going to test them out, you know? Uh, I don't know what they are, but we're going to test them anyway. So, let's do Sacrificial Wealth on her. She's, like, dripping. That's funny. Okay. What does this do? Oh. Whoa! Okay, so that took away money. Let's try it on uh, this guy because honestly, I don't know what that was. Okay. Fly, fly, McKenna, go. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Okay, I think that spell takes money and gives it to them. So I think that's a good spell. That's a light spell. We don't want her to be light. So let's try something else. Lull the sleep. Okay, so the ones with the blue paint brushes are good. But we want bad. So let's lull him to sleep. And let's see here. Um, let's do sacrificial wealth for her just to get her started. Okay, so he's passed out on the floor. And she's doing her little spell, which will take money from me, because, huh. I wonder if she could do it on her. She can. Heal sadness. Even though there really is no sadness. But, whatever. It's fine. Okay, so we need more people. Here we go. Uh, that's a child. We don't want a child. Um, okay. Teleport here. Which is not part of the mod, just saying. So we can drain her need. Let's drain her energy to refill her magical connection. I believe that is what it is. Okay, she went real far. But that didn't matter. Oh, look, now she's exhausted and her connection's all the way up. So that's great. I love that. And let's see. Lull her to sleep. She's already tired, so might as well just finish it off. Okay. <laughs> and now she passes it. See, her alignment is going down. We just gotta keep doing this. Um, lull him to sleep. That seems to be the only bad option other than draining the need. Um, but her magical oh. connection really isn't going down. But I'll drain his fun. Let's make him bored as heck. And then for her... Wow, okay, <laughs> a little song for her. We gotta go find someone. Uh, there's someone here Hello, hello We are going to heal her sadness even though I don't think she's sad. I think she's just tired or whatnot um, But yeah, okay, so I want to see what it's like when she gets bad now She is evil to the max I went ahead and just did all these spells over and over. So dark alignment spells. There's a lightning rod, a tabula rasa, and a siphon wealth. So let's try a siphon wealth, which I believe takes money from them. Which is kind of handy if you're starting out and you don't want to cheat the game. <laughs> you know, we've all done that before. Okay, so we got a thousand dollars from this guy. Um, that's not what I wanted. So, we want to try... We're gonna kill him. The lightning rod kills him. So, 
yeah, we're gonna see exactly what happens here. See her little movements, uh, red too, showing that she's evil. So, what's happening here? Is he. Oh, okay, I guess that didn't work. He ain't dead. Let's try it on him. I keep clicking on that. Oh my god. Um, okay. Lightning rod, you can do this. Okay, there's room. Stop being like that. Oh my god. Okay. Apparently it's freaking impossible. <sighs> Lightning rod, come on, do it. You got this. Please. Okay. I don't know why that's not working. Let's try something else. Let's try Tableau Rasa. I don't know what that is. I have an idea, but I'm not 100% sure. So. Uh, let's Okay, well that's not working either. I don't know what's happening here. Not cool. Um, the wealth worked. Let's try the good. Okay, so now she's good. Let's prolong life. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna prolong his life. I'm assuming that worked. We're gonna add this guy to the family and see if it worked. Uh, go here. Did that work? Uh, I'd say so. Okay. Can we try the lightning rod again, please? You got this, McKenna. I'm guessing it doesn't always work. Maybe there's like a chance percentage of when it will work. Which kind of sucks. So, okay. I learned what tabula rasa. So basically, let's just talk to him now. We're going to introduce ourselves. Hello. Okay, so you can see we know him. So let's do... The, that and it should erase his memory and reset the relationship. Uh, that's apparently what it's supposed to do. So, um, yeah, that reset it. So it did work. Okay, so there are a few spells that your sims can learn. I want to leave a little bit of room for imagination so I'm not going to go ahead and get to those points. But there is one where you can dry puddles which is great. There is an aura of edibility meaning that it's a temporary buff and if you use it on food in the game it will make it so that it does not spoil ever. And there's one called Douse, which means if a sim is on fire, you can do whatever the heck is happening here, except differently, and put them out. And there's Prolong Life, which you've seen, and it does work. Resurrect, oh my god, that one is amazing to me. And I think that's the most difficult one. It takes the most uh, magical connection. And it's called Resurrect, and it brings a ghost back from the dead, which I think is freaking amazing and would help. And for the dark spells, there's one called Suppress Sadness, which is a temporary buff that nullifies sad moodlets. And then there's another one, which you have seen, Siphon Wealth, where you can take money. The Tabula Rasa, where you can make them forget you. Set on fire, which, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory. And then create lightning rod, which is supposed to electrocute the target to death. But I tried it, and it's not working. So I don't know if it's just me or if I'm doing something wrong. But yeah. So basically, as you go on, you learn new spells. And you become a master sorcerer. 
But that is not all. If you max out your alignment, whether it be dark or light, you can get a spell that I guess is a forever kind of thing. And for light, it's called Transcend, and it gives you a permanent plus 50 fine buff. So basically, you'll be feeling fine for like ever. And let's see if we can do that. I don't know if we can. Uh, Ritual of the Immortal. No. Oh, yeah. Okay, so for the dark, Ritual of the Immortal, basically making you immortal. And you have like a shadow effect, kind of like the Grim Reaper. So we're going to do that. And for light, we are going to transcend. Which, like I said, you get a plus 50 fine bus. Wow, okay, dang. Okay, what's she doing? She's like a little light ball. That's cool. <laughs> okay, so look at her. She finished her little transcend. So now she's fine. Plus 50. There it is. Called Stoic. I will endure what may come without display or complaint. So that's pretty cool. I don't know. You can teleport as a purity's flame. Let's see what that is. That's really cool. I love that. And she now has a shadow effect when she walks. If we can actually walk, that would be nice. So there you go. But then you can also teleport as a reaper's shroud. That's so cool. I love that so much. But you can only get those two once you've maxed out your your alignment, which does take a while. And yeah, so let's try out something that I did not try out before to sacrifice our own need to refill our connection. So we're going to bring it down a little bit and we're going to sacrifice social. So let's see here. Uh, that is not what we want. Okay, I cannot find it. Um, maybe we can use it on him, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Sacrifice and eat. Sacrifice social, okay, yeah. That would have been the best one. So apparently she's playing the, the invisible guitar. And her social, ooh, dang, her social went all the way down, she's heartbroken. But, her magical connection is all the way back up, so that's cool. If you are good, you do not have to take it from a sim, you sacrifice. It. But you do have to click on another sim for some reason. And let's just see. So you can disable an aura, which I'm assuming is the little bulb inside of her chest. And I don't know what enable move by hover is. I'm learning along with you guys. So what the heck did that do? Um, does she hover when she walks? Oh yeah, that's so cool. Okay, so you can hover. And, oops, for her, she can hover as well. And she kind of brings that a little bit more because the uh, Grim Reaper hovers. But that is so cool and they're still wet. I don't know if that ever goes away. I really hope so. Yeah. Okay, so you can shatter Aura of Nature. So let's shatter it on herself because it's really annoying. She doesn't want to be soaking wet. It's not fun. So she's going to use that to get rid of that. So that is how you get rid of that. And now there's one more thing to show you all, and that's child ability. So let's go back to Abby, little child. Right now, she's not really anything special, but she will be soon. Okay, so the children have a couple little surprises up their sleeve. Let's go get her to investigate the object. Or else she's not going to be able to become one, you know? She's just kind of, a, you know, just there, watching her mom be so freaking cool. Okay, so it looks like, yeah. Okay, so she, since she's a child, she can't do anything, as you see. But, apparently, if you get angry, there's a rare chance where she will combust. So we're going to try to do that and see if that works. Change mood, negative. We're gonna get her angry. So she's enraged. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna see. 
And if they do combust into fire, you, they can ask a sim who's teen plus to give them an aura or something. I don't exactly know, but it's a flame containment spell on them, which will prevent them and protect them from combusting for two days. And basically, it's called combustion suppression, and when it's added, all tense, angry, and uncomfortable buffs are removed. So that's great, and she has to go to the washroom, so, oh, take an angry poop. Okay, and then, so there is another, go, 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 there's another thing you can do as a child. And it seems she does not want to combust into fire. So, that sucks, but I think you get the picture. It will happen if they are angry. But another thing you can do is you can ask a sim, Team Plus, who is a sorcerer, for teleportation. And I'm not 110% sure how to do this. I am new to this as well. So, how do we do this? Okay, so I found out where you go. So in order for to give the child teleportation, a teen plus sorcerer needs to go to friendly, click on them, go to friendly, and imbue with teleportation power. So we're gonna do that. Uh, a plush. <laughs> oh, she looks so excited over that. She's still enraged, but eh, whatever. So once you get the teleportation power, does she have that? Yes, yes. She gets a buff called Teleporty Tingles. I can jump around anywhere. So I'm guessing you now can teleport as Llama Deuce's torch. And for as long as this buff, ah, this buff is on her, so six to eight hours usually is how long she can teleport. But when she does teleport, she gets a bad buff called Queasy from teleporting. So there is that, which kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, you know, I think this is all for the review. I know there were some spells that I did not get to show. She's not happy. But I'm going to leave that all up to your imagination. I did go over what they do, and I'm going to link you to the mod The Sims so you can read all about it if you want and this is just a little kind of overview of everything and this is new to me too so I'm I'm very excited to share this with you all and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did please hit that like button and if you didn't eh, don't hit that like button hit the unlike button not everyone likes everything right and if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me and helps me out so much. Thank you for watching. Toodaloo!